Now we are having this diagram where we are representing the OSI model. Now this diagram looks very confusing because you are finding that here we are having seven layers, then we are having three layers, again three layer, and then we are having the seven layer. So the first look, this diagram looks very complex, but it is not actually the complex diagram. First of all, we are going to take the example of one computer. Now user is here on the top, which is interacting with that system. And now the wire is coming here and in between the OSI layer are working means the whole conversion from user side user side we are having very good graphics images protocols and that is converted to wire wire means the bits are going 110011 so that is done by the osi model and osi model is having the seven layers if i see that there is a, the device if i talk about this device device number one this is the computer where the wire is going out and here the user is at this side now we know one thing the top three layers help the user to work we know that the top three layers are the upper layer below three layers are the lower layer and we know that the lower layers are the layers which are helping the network to work and in the middle we are having is the middle layer so transport layer is the middle layer upper layer help the user to work and lower layer help the network to work so that means whenever we are having any network device then only three layers are required now check out the device too here we are having the router because that cross symbol is of router so router is a network device the user is not involved now the meaning is that there is the user present here user one which is interacting with the system and the data is coming out so all the seven layers of osi models are working then this data is going to the router now this router is the network device and network device need only the lower layer so whenever you are having any network device like switch, hub, bridge, router, assume that only three layers of OSI will work. So that's why the three layers of OSI are mentioned. Network data link and physical layer because these are the lower layer will help. There is no need of above layers. Again, data is moving further from one router to another router and we are having the device three where one more router is there and router is a network device which work on the lower layer. So obviously the three layers are required here. Lower layers are only required. Then further the data is going from wire to the computer and here we are having user two, which is getting the data. And the user and the wire is involved. That means all the layers are required. So the lower three layers are required to help the network. So these three layers are helping the network because they are called the lower layers. And then there is the middle layer that is going to provide the data to upper layer that is transport layer. And then above three layers are there which are interacting with the user. So here these are the upper layer and they are helping the user. Now with this diagram, we are learning that simply there is a system. Now in this system, the user one is here and there is another system where we are having user two. User one is sending the data graphically and it is going to wire. So how many layers are coming into picture? Seven. Three layers for the user, three layers for the network and one for middle layer. So data is moving this way. And now the data is coming here. 
and given to the user to again three lower layer one middle and three upper seven layers are required now let us suppose that you are adding routers in between if you are adding one router router is a network device it will take three layers if let us suppose you are having one more router then again it is going to take the three layer so this way how many routers you are placing then the number of times the layer you have to mention so the osi model for this particular diagram will be like this but usually we are going to make the osi model with a simple diagram like we represent application presentation session transport network detailing layer and physical layer simply because we assume that there is a single computer so if the single computer is there like we have mentioned here so the diagram for this one will be very simple you have to only represent application presentation session transport network data link layer and the physical layer so if you are using a single computer then you have to use the single diagram like this so whenever you are representing a layer that means you are representing the single computer where one user is there and data is moving so this is about the osi model diagram